increase relationships. They can be amazing and they can be very hard work. <laughs> Often both. I've learned over time that you really need to put in that effort to learn about communication, don't you? What are some of the tools that you use within your practice? Well, sometimes we talk in terms of five love languages and learning how we prefer to express love and to receive it. And those love languages are words of affirmation, so compliments or praise, spending quality time together, offering gifts, physical touch and affection, and acts of service. There's a great test online and my husband and I did it and it was really surprising because my top love language was acts of service. So if he would put the washing on and I hadn't asked him, he goes to the top of the charts with the love. <laughs> so knowing each other's love language really helped us start communicating on a different level. It helps you appreciate each other as individuals and how you prefer to give and receive love. And that supports the most important thing, the basis of your relationship in a deep friendship.